Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, different type of video this time. Uh, this is going to be a breakdown of some Blender work that I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to redo a, um, a Star Wars fan film that I worked on early last year with my kids. We just kind of uh, wanted to do something over the holiday break and uh, we went to the Star Wars land um, in Florida and got some props, some or some souvenirs that we used as props, and we kind of filmed a little, you know, two two and a half minutes, um, you know, short story, I guess, about um, a Jedi, and so we just threw it together really fast. Um, it's it's not, you know, fantastic by any means, uh, but. You know, it was it was a fun project and it involved a minute. So uh, now that I've been learning more Blender, I see this and I'm just like, man, I could really make this a lot better. So uh, my my project currently is to take these scenes uh, from this previous thing that we had planned out and to replace them with new VFX shots from Blender uh, and maybe some uh, metahuman pieces from Unreal Engine. Um, just kind of piecing them all together and kind of redoing and expanding the story just a little bit. So I'll put a link in the top corner so that you, where you can see the playlist for this that you know includes the video as well as you know four or five other videos that I made that kind of talked about the process of how we wrote the stories in the story circle and how we filmed the things and how we pieced them together and did the very you know bare minimum comping that we needed to do to get this thing finished in about a week. So uh, first off, here is the. Uh, scene I'm currently trying to replace in this. I'll just hit play. So this is where the 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 Jedi is entering the planet, uh, coming to the Sith Temple. So that shot that we just saw was the 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 piece that um, I'm working on replacing currently. And so let's see. So I started out by building this out in Blender, um, and what I've got here is I've just got a um, like a pyramid that I found online. You know that that is uh, similar to what I've previously had, and I've set up some planes uh, with trees, and I needed to sort of generate this forest. So these are um, from an add-on called Real Tree, and they look great. You know they have a low and a medium and a high poly, poly uh, version. Uh, and so what I'm doing here is I just created you know uh, four or five different individual trees, and then I you know grouped them into a collection uh, of trees like this. And then I, you know, on these planes, I am doing a particle emitter, a hair particle emitter uh, of these trees um, so that, you know, they will automatically populate and I don't have to put each one into place. That would, you know, take forever. The problem with that is, you know, it's very resource intensive. I've got a 2070 Super uh, RTX video card and it works, you know, pretty good for most things. But on this, it was really, really choking. Um, I could barely, you know, I, get it to render. Um, in cycles and these trees they don't look fantastic in EV um, so let's see here is um, one of the screen grabs from that previous setup and I think it took like 15 minutes for this one frame to render in cycles and so that you know I work at a faster pace than that I need to be able to see things and make changes to it and so that just took too long for me and so uh, you know I, that kind of made me decide that okay I'm gonna try to make this work in EV um, and although this looks pretty cool, you know, I think that, you know, we can we can get by with a more stylized effect and it doesn't have to try to look so photorealistic. Although I do love this motion blur that we're getting here on the, the uh, ship coming in. So uh, basically, you know, this was too res resource intensive, so I decided to just scrap this. So let's just get rid of that. Not sure what I changed, but hey, we'll save it anyway. So um, then I rebuilt the scene, and I guess we'll start out by I will show you um, what what it currently looks like. And so this is where I currently am. I'll just play it. It's pretty fast here. I'm going to have to slow this down. But as you can see, this is much better than the previous shot of you know just some story blocks footage that we took and alpha key or sorry chroma key on top of some other story blocks footage and just you know threw these things together in a hotel room um you know this is much more um like what you would expect to see in an animated um you know short story or something so at any rate he, uh, here's you know the the jedi's a-wing fighter coming in um i'll certainly slow this down to kind of hang on this moment for a little bit maybe have some dialogue or something of of the jedi talking to his droid or something would be kind of neat and then you see him you know going on down and approaching 
um, the, the Sith Temple here and the nice bloom on the sun. So this is EV. I think this looks pretty cool. I think this is the way I'm going to go forward and try to make the whole thing look like this. Um, so here is basically what this looks like. Let's see. Let me move some things around. And so you see right off, you know, well, you know, what's going on here? I've just got this big you know, block in a circle. <laughs> so uh, what this, the block is my atmosphere, which is, you know, how it adds this fog and stuff. And that's a, a trick that you'll find in many, many places uh, online that, you know, I didn't create that. I just saw someone else use it and thought it was cool. Um, and, you know, it works great to, you know, to have this principled volume pumping into that. The lights work great. It's okay in EV, works really, really good in uh, cycles, but, you know, we're going to make it work the best we can in EV. Um, and so this is where I currently am. And so this is just one plane with uh, all of these trees um, generated on it. And how I did this was I am using the, let's see, what's this called? The uh, sapling tree gen add-on. Um, you know, tons of tutorials about that. I won't go into that here. But I just made a, you know, two very low poly trees, um, put them in a collection, did the same uh, hair particle emitter trick and you know just basically had these two trees uh spit out you know on this plane to generate my forest and i only needed it to be you know this long because that's that's where my camera movement is going and this black or sorry this back plane back plane is uh just my emitter let's see if it'll show here just my blue sky and then i've just got you know a, a uv sphere here with an emitter um as my sun um and I believe there's an additional sunlight in there as well, just, you know, back behind it, just to throw some additional light. But this is basically what it is. So this is not, you know, as you can see, I can spin around this pretty pretty freely. It's not very resource intensive at all, especially considering that, let's see, how many trees do we have here? We've got, um, oh, I always do that the wrong tab. Uh, you know, so we've got 5,000 trees. Uh, emitting on this one plane that's that's pretty good um, for that and so um, much much better with this the other one there's no way I could scrub through even an EV with, with all of those medium poly trees uh, it just it was just choking up and it crashed all the time um, so anyway this is kind of what I'm working on um, I'm going to continue refining this scene, and then I'm going to work on some others. Um, you know, one of the next scenes I have is taking some of the green screen footage that we shot with the Blackmagic camera for um, for the other, the live action version of this. Taking some of that green screen footage and seeing if I can uh, pull it into Blender and do some motion tracking and keying of that green um, out, and then put you know some additional 3D you know rendered assets or something in the scene around sort of that you know Ian Hubert style. Uh, I think that'll be fun to experiment with. So maybe that'll be my next video this weekend. I'll I'll put something up from that. So anyway, I hope uh, this has been interesting to some people. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this type of thing. I've got more of these videos coming. I'm really in a Blender filmmaking type mode right now. So this will be the majority of what my, my videos are going to be for the next couple of months. Um, so I hope you like this type of thing. Make sure you leave a comment if you have any kind of questions. I'll try to answer them. I'm a complete um, you know, noob at this type of thing. I'm just learning it. Um, so, but I may have some answers to some questions. I have, uh, you know, tried a few different things. So, um, leave me a comment, uh, like it if you like, if you like the video, uh, click the like if you like this video, uh, subscribe if you're into that type of thing or, or, or whichever. So anyway, if you've been watching for this long, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm rambling now. I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks.